Hello, spelling group number th group number three. Welcome back to spelling, okay? This is spelling for group three, all right? So, I'm gonna give you a test. Get a line piece of paper, write your name and date, 9720 on your paper. And I'm gonna give you a test on Friday's five new words that I gave you, all right? Are you ready? Okay. Your first word is person. Oh, I was going to give you the syllables. I don't need to. This is a test. Person. Person. It is not the talking, but the walking and the working, working person that is a true Christian. It is not the talking, but the walking and working person that is the true Christian. Person. Number two. Press. Press. A press can be something when they first invented the printing press where they stamped all the letters. They called it a press because you're pressing down the letters with ink. So nowadays it's not a press, but they call, still call it the printing press. Or press means to smash grapes to make juice, smash something, press. Number three, the word is guide. Guide. The woman needs a guide dog. Guide. Number four. Wait a minute. You know what? I just realized those were not your spelling words. I'm looking at the wrong day. But that's okay. Just leave them there. It's a good review. That was one, two, three. So your next word is angel. Angel. The little girl wanted a little angel at the top of her Christmas tree. Angel. So, your next word is excuse. Excuse. We always make an excuse when we don't want to tell the truth. Excuse. The next word is offer. Many people like to sell their stuff on offer up. Offer. The next, the next one is question. Please call me if you have a question. Question. And the last word is pray. We all need to pray without ceasing. Pray. Ceasing means never stopping. Okay, without ceasing, never stopping. Pray. Okay, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that was eight words that I gave you. All right, that's a good number. So go ahead and put that piece of paper. Oh, make sure you write spelling test number eight. I don't have test up here, but you know how to spell test. Spelling test number eight. On the top of your paper, name and date, put it in your multi-subject folder, and I will correct it um, when you bring it back. And go ahead and pull out your spelling book for your new words. Okay. Now, before I give you your new words, I'm going to explain something to you. I have made a change in the way I'm going to do spelling. And the change is that instead of giving you five words every day, I'm going to give you 10 words on Monday and 10 words on Wednesday. And on Friday, I will give you a test only. And I'm doing that so you don't have to watch a video every single day. It, it makes it, I think it's, it'll be easier for everybody, all right? So I'm going to give you 10 words today. There will be no video tomorrow, but you will have to study your words today. And even there's no video, study your words tomorrow. On Wednesday, I'll give you 10 more words. You'll study them on Wednesday and on Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm going to do a video. And all I'm going to do is we're going to do a test. 
on, on um, Friday, all right? Okay, so in your book, your spelling book, we're in section N2, and we are on number, uh, let me see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're on number 16, if you're numbering them, and it's right after the word pray. Your first new word is confess. Con we should confess our sins to the Lord. Confess. So that we may be forgiven. Confess. Okay, write it, write your word first, and then look up and look at mine and compare, see if you did it correctly. Okay. Confess. Let me move. Let's see. Let's see if that's better. Okay. Con. There's a a ah, con. That's the first sound. A ah, o oh, u. We don't mark it. That says it's first sound. There's nothing to mark. This. E. First sound. E. -E. We don't mark it. But we have a double S. You guys remember the rule? You should know this rule by now. You guys have had spelling for three years now, and we go over the same rules over every year until we memorize them. But the rule is that if you have a, this is within a syllable, not the word. In the syllable, if you have one syllable with one vowel, you often double the F, the S, or the L. And we have an S. We have one syllable here with one vowel, you double the S, okay? Confess. The next word is mumble. Mum. Bull, mum, bull, mumble. I have a favorite saying that says, don't mumble, don't grumble, and always be prepared. When you walk into class, don't mumble, don't grumble, and always be prepared. All right, two syllables. Mumble. No multi-letter phonograms, no silent letters, no second sounds, no marks. Over here, b o, no sound, it's silent. Why do we have a silent E? There's five reasons you, have, you would have a silent E. Let's go down the list. The first one is silent E tells us the vowel to say its second sound. Without the silent E, there is no vowel. Okay, so that's not it. U and V take a two. English words cannot end in U or V, so uh, you would put a silent E, and there is no U and V. C and G take a three. C and G both have two sounds, K and G, J. For it to say their second sound, there would be a silent E, but there's no C and G, okay? Number four. The rule is every syllable needs a vowel. So if that silent E was there, that syllable would not have a vowel. We need to give it a vowel. So that is rule number five. I'm sorry. Rule number four, not five. Okay. Um, your next word is repent. 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 Re, E, e says the second sound. Vowels at the end of a syllable say their second sound. There's no multi-letter phonogram, no silent letters, nothing saying a second sound, so nothing to mark. That was an easy one. Let's try this one. Let's see if you can do this one without looking up first, okay? Listen, criticize. We should never use our mouth to criticize. Crit, E, Size. Three syllables. Crit a size. Write it first. One vowel at a time. I mean, I'm sorry. 
one syllable at a time before you look up and look at mine. See if, how close you can get to the correct spelling, okay? Criticize. The first syllable, crit. This e is the first sound. No silent letters, no multi-letter phonograms. We don't mark anything. Okay. Eh. That. Few words. Okay. I was just looking to see why, this, if this is at the end of a syllable, why it's not saying its second sound. Crit. Eh. Size. The reason this does not say it's second, follow the rule saying it's second sound at the end of the syllable is because this is a, it says here, this is a, what is it? This is a British word. It's not an English word. Yeah. So it's not, it doesn't follow the rule. Sighs. I, this is a kind of silent letter. Okay, there's a silent E there. Let's figure out what the rule is. The first one, it tells the vowel to say a second sound, so let's check. It, I, size, it's saying a second sound, so that's why it's there. But I see a Z. So this is also rule number, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of V, but no, this is a Z. Um, the reason this is saying Okay. This does not follow the rule as far as the second sound C, but you can put a little mark there saying it's saying it's second sound. It, this word doesn't follow the rules because it's a it's a British word, so it's it follows other rules that we don't use. So, crit is eyes. Okay. All right. The last one for this section is reason. 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 When we read, we read to reason. Okay? Reason. Write your word and I'll write mine. Then you compare to mine, okay? Okay. Reason. There's a multi-letter phonogram here. E -a, a has three sounds. Re, E -a, a. It's the first sound. We don't need to put a one. Sun. Okay. Listen carefully. Re zun, zun. The S has two sounds. S z zun. So it's a second sound. Re zun. Okay. That was the last word for section N2. So you're going to go to the next page and fold the paper in half. If it's not already folded in half, that way you can have two columns, 10 on one side and 10 on the other side of the fold. Okay. And it's going to be section N3. So let's do this. Let's do it over here. N3. And three, and I gave you five, so I'm going to give you five more over here. And number one in section N3 is clap. Clap. One syllable. We clap through our syllables. Clap. <coughs> no multi letter phonograms. No second sounds, no silent letters. Easy peasy, right? Okay. The next word is crystal. Crystal. We say crystal, but we spell crystal. Crystal. Okay. Crystal. English words do not end with I or crystal. 
Okay. So there's something different about this word, and it doesn't give me an explanation as to why. Uh, review the why is it changed? Okay. Okay. Chris, honestly, I'm not sure why we use a why. It's saying e, eh, and I, it doesn't. There is no rule to why it's using the why, other than it's probably not an English word. It, uh, I believe this is a Latin word. We take this word from the, the Latin language, so that's it. Probably doesn't follow. It doesn't look like it's following English rules. So it's C R Y S Chris. Tall and notice that it's it's one syllable with one vowel that if it ends in F, S, or L, it's often doubled. Notice it's not doubled. So this is most likely a Latin word that doesn't follow English rules. Okay? So there's nothing to mark. Your next word is sky. Sky. There is smoke in the sky. Sky. Okay. Sk and I. We don't, English words do not end in I, so we exchange it for the Y that sounds like I. And I, I is the second sound, so we underline it because it's a second sound. I, I, second sound. The next word is, listen carefully, it's a long word, but if you do it syllable by syllable, it's not hard. The word is definition. Definition. Definition is the meaning of a word. Def, e, ni, shun. That's four. Def, e, ni, shun. Four syllables. Okay. Shun uses the sh, tall letter sh. Write it and then compare it to mine. Okay, definition. Okay, the first syllable, def. No, no multi-letter phonograms, no silent letters, no second sounds. So there's nothing to mark. I. Uh, this, def, I. No, wait, I'm sorry. I usually says I at the end of a syllable. So this, no, the rule is a vowel usually says its second sound at the syllable. Notice the word usually. A vowel usually says its second sound at the end of a syllable. Usually means most of the time, but not always. In this case, it's not. Okay, this would be an exception because it sounds like it. Deaf. I, I, ni, again right here, I, first sound, first sound, def, I, ni, doesn't follow this, the, the rule of the end of a syllable, it's because the rule is usually, in this case, this would be your exception. Now, shun, there's a multi-letter phonogram there, okay, and if you can't see it, this is, my eyes are dotted, make them bigger. Underline your sh, tall letter sh, definition. And this is off for sound. We don't mark for sound. And your last, your last word is need. Need. I need you to read 30 minutes every night. Read. I mean, I'm sorry, not read. Need. Need. You have a multi-letter phonogram in there. Need. There's an E double E always says E. And I 
know that you guys, that's one of the easiest ones for you guys, okay? All right, so you have two days to practice writing these, learning how to read them if you don't know how to read each word. Um, I'm gonna go over them really quick with you. Some of you guys may not someone have someone at home that can read in English, so let's go backwards. Need, definition, sky, crystal, clap, reason, criticize, repent, mumble, confess, all right? Write them five times each today, five times each tomorrow. There will be no video tomorrow. Just do the work, the writing them each time, two days. There will be a video on Wednesday. I'll give you 10 words. You'll practice them on Wednesday and Thursday. There will be a video on Friday only to give you a test. No new words on Friday. I'm just going to give you a test. I'll try to, we're going to try and do all 20 of them. Hopefully we can do 20 of them in, in less than 20 minutes. Okay. All right. I hope this works better for everybody. And if you like doing the video this way every other day, give me a thumbs up on WhatsApp. Okay. Thumbs up on WhatsApp. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Bye-bye.